hi beauties welcome back to my channel here's another tutorial on how to do the stitch feeding braids like a pro so in this tutorial i'm gonna be showing you guys everything you need to know and everything you need to do in order to stitch fit in braids like a professional so right now i'm just applying the shine and jam our hair is natural it's already blown out and detangled so i'm just combing in the product into a hair before parting the hair <music> So for this style, she's getting the zigzag um, stitch fit and braids. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve um, the perfect um, zigzag parting on yourself or your client. So when it comes to the parting, you wanna make sure you take your time so it comes out um, the same shape and everything because it's easy to just um, part hair straight back. But for the zigzag um, parting, in order for you to achieve um, the same size and needs um, parting all through you and make sure um, you keep checking to make sure it's the same um, part is the same size when you're cutting it so I'm gonna go back in and apply my shine and jam and I'm gonna part it again with my rat tail comb just to get that neat clean finish um, look because when it comes to stitch braid you can easily tell when the parting is not neat, which is why I recommend the Shine and Jam um, gel. And if you're wondering where to get it, you can get the gel on um, Amazon. So the link to where um, you can get it is in the description button down below. So please um, check that out. So I'm gonna apply the Shine and Jam again on the other side after parting the hair um, to slick it down. That gives it a defined look um, when you're stitching and it also makes it easy for you to stitch. And again, you're gonna take your comb and comb in um, the product. And then you're gonna pat out, section out a little bit of hair in the front and that's where you're gonna begin your braiding, your cornrows. So you wanna start braiding with the natural hair first before applying the extension hair. That gives it more natural look and that also saves your client's edges. Um, so you're just gonna have um, the extension hair and you're gonna start um, parting um, the stitch braid with your pinky finger. You can also use your index finger, whichever finger is easy for you. But for me, I prefer the pinky finger because I have more control when I'm um, stitching. So you're gonna be using your, I'm um, using my index, my other index finger to insert the hair, as you can see. So you're just gonna keep um, braiding stitching at the same time, um, braiding the hair as you keep braiding there. So for the stitching, I'm using my pinky finger and to attach the extension hair, I'm using my index finger, my both index finger to attach and my right index finger to insert, to slide the hair under the braids. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave it down below in the comment section and I will be sure to answer each and every one. to mention if you have trouble stitching with your nails uh, if you have a shorter nails um, you can also um, use your comb to do the stitching um, if you want me to do a tutorial on how to use your comb to do a stitch braid please leave me a comment down below and I will definitely um, do it for you guys <music>
So because the client has a very thick hair, in order to um, make sure her hair is smooth as possible, um, just using my comb to comb it out to make sure there is no tangling. It just makes it easy um, to stitch. If the hair is tangled, trust me, you would have difficulty stitching um, the braids or curl roll it. So you would make sure um, you really um, take your time combing it out. And as you can see, I'm also, uh, as I'm applying the jam, I'm using my palm, the palm of my hands to apply pressure so it's um, to slick it down and make it as flat as possible. And you also wanna part the hair into two equal part. Uh, that way it's much more easier for you to stitch, trust me, especially when you're just um, starting out stitching braids. You wanna make sure you're parting the hair into two equal part. If not, trust me, you're gonna have difficulty stitching the braids. <laughs> down to the last braid yay <laughs> so I'm just gonna uh, repeat the same process this time I'm just gonna fast forward it um, a little bit more just so we get it over and done with <laughs> if you're still watching thank you so much you are the real MVP <laughs> finishing the hands um, right now I'm adding more extension hair so it's not looking too skinny you just don't look pretty so I'm just gonna keep braiding it as tight as possible so it looks um, very neat you're gonna make sure you're not braiding too loose also it makes it last longer so when you're done you're just gonna add your setting lotion or mousse and I'm also using the lighter to trim the hands and then put it in hot water and also um, spray some um, got to be that's optional it's not compulsory and I'm just um, using the, my needle and try it um, to um, sew it together so it's not going nowhere and I'm just gonna lay them baby hairs and that's pretty much it this is the finished look 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. Uh, if you'd like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. If this is your first time on my channel, my Instagram and Facebook page is at soda 112 Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye.